So now in this video, we're going to come back to the FRM01 relay right here. I also added a capacitor. It's a good idea with this power supply. If I bump it, it kind of drops the uh, power for a little bit. And this seems to smooth it out nicely. So 470 microfarad, rated for up to 50 volts. We're only using 12. And uh, that side has to be more negative. It's going to the negative rail. That side has to be more positive. It is at the power uh, positive rail. So the uh, relay module has pins down here. That's why I put it on the bubble wrap right there so the relay module I'm just gonna turn the light off because the display is not showing up on camera with the uh, light like that very well but in person you could see it just fine so I'm only turning the light down to uh, make it easier to see on camera but the power is off right now this power is on this will power the LED once the relay switch since it's in the normally open position it's off right now if I put it to the normally close it would be on it would be energized right now but uh, in any case I'll hit the button and you can see that uh, we had a five second countdown and it was in function one so that's how it came when I got it so we want to do uh, function two in this video which really is just the opposite pretty straightforward so I'll go over how to uh, program this First off, you hold down set. This is set button over here. And uh, so now we can change that. This is up and that is down. So we want to, if we wanted 12, we could go there. So this uh, switches it over right there to uh, what number. Now we'll hit this again and we go to seconds. There's a couple more settings too. So I think that's for when you're doing one timing and then another timing and I don't even know what this is yet I haven't got to it yet but for now this is all we have to worry about are the two so there's five seconds if we want to do a fractional period of time we can hold down the SW1 button and now it will be half of a second so if I hold down set there you can see that uh, we had a fraction of the time and now it's doing what it's going to do we can either turn the supply off and uh, back on for the module to do that. Before it was off until the countdown. Now it's on until the countdown is done. And then it turns off. So it's doing the opposite. That's, that's all it's doing. And that was a really brief period of time. So we will come back here and we'll keep the fractional. But we can hit switch and we can go to 1.5 right there. Or, in fact, let's go 11.5. There we go. And it's going to do its thing once I'm done holding the button there. So now, 11.5 seconds. So, we can just keep filling up those numbers as we want for how many seconds we want right there. And so, as you can see, all the relay is doing here, this part of the circuitry is controlling whether this uh, two pins are connected. Or these two pins are connected so like right now these two are connected but those two are not so the LED is off and then if we move this over here then the LED would be on until we give a signal and uh, then it would turn off during that time but now it's on during that time so it depends on what you want there the main thing is to remember there you can see we got about 45 milliamps of current being used well the relay is energized when the relay is not energized we have less current going so you have to factor which one's going to be uh, in the energized state for a less period of time and that is what you would want so hopefully that makes sense check out one of these other videos I'm showing and uh, click the uh, subscribe button and click the bell so that you get updates I will see you in the next video